Hi everybody, this is Tom from Tool and this is another tip of the day. Today I'm going to talk about snapping keyframes. So I have this little animation here, uh, let's pause this. And it's a text and the text is being rendered into a render target and then we blur this thing with a linear gradient. And we see that the text and the linear gradient has this little orange markers here. And these tell us that they are animated. Uh, we can select this guy here, okay, we can select this guy here, we can also select all of them to see all these animations in the timeline. We can actually pin these parameters so um, they will stay visible no matter what operators I've been, I have selected. So now if um, I move these guys around, we see that they are snapping to each other. So we always try to find meaningful things to snap. Right now we are in the seconds mode which um, doesn't really make sense to snap to seconds. But if we change to the bars mode, these vertical lines will represent beats and bars. So uh, if I zoom out, this will be measures. If I zoom in, then this will be beats. If I zoom in further, then eventually it will be ticks. And these are very valid snap targets. So let's move these guys over and we see how they are, they are snapped together. If I hold Alt, then I can scale this animation precisely to four bars. And um, if I hold Alt to insert a new keyframe, I can position it precisely to these other keyframes. So there you have it. Now you can work precisely with keyframes and snap them together. Um, yeah, let's place again. You see, Tu loves you. We love you. Visit us on Discord. Tell us what you think. Give us your feedback. What do you see? You want to see it next? Bye.